So, small points games of Warhammer 40k. I'm talking really, really small. Minuscule. Tiny. Are they even worth playing? Are they fun? Well, I think yes. Oh, seriously? Hey, hey guys, and uh, welcome to this video with myself, Six Plus Stevo. So yes, we are talking about small games of Warhammer 40k. Um, now, when I say small, I mean I'm talking like really small, ridiculously small, in terms of points, and um, a lot smaller than most of us regularly go. For most of us, the regular sort of size games of 40k is anywhere between 1500 points, maybe 1750, 2000. Some of us like to go way beyond that and use everything we've got for really big games. Uh, but generally, the standard is somewhere between, say, the 1000 and 2000 point mark is your kind of typical average size game. A 1k game is kind of thought of as a fairly small points game. And uh, for, for the vast majority of us, we never go below that. Um, I know some people, um, my brother-in-law who I used to play back in the day, um, the thought of going anywhere but below sort of 3,000 um, was just seemed pointless to him and didn't see the fun in it at all. Um, but I've always enjoyed smaller points games and found that you get like a different experience from them and a lot of fun from them. And back in the day, and uh, I'm sure a lot of you who were around in the days of uh, third, fourth and fifth, uh, I think it was 5th edition this came out actually, will remember fondly Combat Patrol, um, otherwise known as 40k in 40 minutes. Now, um, Combat Patrol was, for those of you that don't know, it was a sort of an expansion to the game and uh, it was a way to allow players to play really small, quick games of 40k um, using you know um, smaller points armies, 400 points, and uh, it, it brought in some extra rules and some restrictions on the game. So um, you weren't allowed, for example, anything with a two plus save. You weren't allowed anything that had, I believe it was three wounds or more. I think you, were allowed, you weren't allowed anything that had more than two wounds. And uh, back when vehicles had different armor facings, you weren't allowed any vehicles that armor values added up to... I think more than 33. So you're only allowed very light vehicles. Um, things like Sentinels or um, uh, Rhinos and things like that were allowed, but you weren't allowed things like Dreadnoughts and Land Raiders and stuff. And so it, it forced you to pick from sort of the lighter units in the game, scouting parties and stuff. And the Combat Patrol was very much designed to represent scouting forces so you saw a lot of combat patrol armies built around that things like you had uh, imperial guard armies with sentinels in there and sort of uh, small squads of guardsmen and stuff and uh, maybe some snipers and things um, you had space marine armies that were full scout armies with things like land speeders and stuff or scout bikers and things like that and uh, yeah they were they were great fun games i had so many fun experiences playing combat patrol back when i played my necrons um, and Necrons were really hard to sort of get. You didn't have much choice with Necrons because remember back then, Necron Warriors were 18 points a pop, uh, minimum squad size 10. So out of my 400 point army, there was 180 points gone straight away. And you had to have a troop. So troops slot was compulsory. And I think that was the only compulsory um, slot. Everything else, you could have what you want. Um, you couldn't have named characters, um, but you could have lords and stuff, but only low-level ones, characters and things. They couldn't have more than uh, two wounds, so you were very limited there. And back then, you didn't have anything like that. The Necron Lord was pretty much your only HQ option. He had three wounds, so I couldn't even have a lord. Um, and I still, to this day, remember my army. I think I had 11 warriors, three wraiths. Um, wraiths were very different back then and um, a small squad of, I think, five flayed ones. Um, and that was my army, um, my combat patrol army. And it was a highly successful force, actually. I had some good wins with that. Um, played in a little tournament at the local club, did really well in that. I think it was undefeated in that. Um, and yeah, they were a cracking little army and they worked really well, actually. Um, and yeah, I had so much fun playing combat patrol. 
And I've made videos before talking about Combat Patrol, how I'd like them, GW, to bring it back. And lots of people have responded to me with saying, well, you know, there are rules, you know, certain places do do Combat Patrol tournaments, and there are homebrew rules and things out there. And there is, and there's some really good rules where they put on these similar restrictions. And I think the Combat Patrol of today is 500 points, and it comes with, you know, adjustments and restrictions and things to play Combat Patrol. <clears throat> but I'm, I'm talking even smaller than this. Um, I'm talking games of around 250 points, um, which I know a lot of you are thinking like, well, you, you just you, this is going to be crap. You can't. You, you, the game's not designed in a way that it scales down to that level, and I think the scaling is important. And GW themselves have addressed this recently. They've they've gone small scale for sort of skirmish combat with things like Kill Team, and Kill Team has been great for people just getting into the hobby and stuff and playing. Um, these armies that are what, 100 points, 200 points, depending on what sort of system you're playing of Kill Team, because there's various different Kill Team elites, Kill Team commanders, etc. Um, and that's cool. But Kill Team is its own game. Um, it's very separate from 40k. It really is its own game. Um, it's uh, It has a lot of similarities, obviously, um, but it is its own game. So I'm talking about just play. And oh, they've done the same <clears throat> with Apocalypse. Apocalypse used to be an expansion to the rules and extra rules laid on top. So it was 40k, but with extra bells and whistles on it. Now, Ap Apocalypse is also its own game with its own rule set and its own dice and everything. Um, so they've, they've sort of... GW are kind of saying themselves in that way that our system isn't designed in a way that it it's not really suitable for scaling up to these huge games. We have to have another system to play it at that level. And also from scaling down to the really small, it doesn't really work and the balance isn't quite there. And, you know, the mechanics aren't really designed to fit that. Um, so they've kind of almost made their own separate games to represent big scale, small scale. And then for your bog standard, you've got 40K. But... I had a game um, arranged and played just a couple of days ago against my brother. And my brother plays various um, RPGs. He's big into his Dungeons and Dragons. Me and him have played Kill Team before. That's how I've got him to dip his toe into the 40k hobby. And we had a lot of fun there in Kill Team and we really enjoyed it. And his, his funds are limited. He doesn't have a huge amount of spare cash to be able to blow on this plastic crack. Um, so we pretty much thought he was just going to stick to Kill Team. But I managed to persuade him. I managed to get him to pick up a codex for his army. He plays Mechanicus. Um, and then for Christmas, I got him a um, uh, a Lord character. Uh, the Dominus, what's he called? Uh, something Dominus, I can't remember. The big tech priesty guy for the Mechanicus. You know the one I mean. Uh, not the character, just the regular Lord. I got him that for, for Christmas as a present. Uh, just to sort of help push him. Come on, come on, come and play some 40k with me. And anyway, so he agreed to have a game. And the other night we had our very first game. And I said to him, well, basically add up what you've got currently. And then I'll add up an army to match. And it's just going to be a practice game anyway, teaching you the rules. You know, it doesn't matter who wins or loses. It's just, I said at this low level, it's, it's not going to probably be that great of a game. And anyway, added his stuff up. And it came to something like 225 points. Um, and when he sent me the message saying, well, I've added it all up and this is what it comes to. And I thought, uh, right, how the, how the hell am I going to get an army of that low level? I just thought, oh, it's, 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 why even am I going to choose? So I just basically said to him, look, well, expect to see a lot of crops because uh, they're three points a pop. And I can't imagine I'm not going to be able to squeeze much else in a 200 point army. Um, so anyway... That was my kind of feelings. I thought, well, do you know what? It's a practice game. This is nothing more than basically a practice session to teach him the rules of the game. So if it turns out to be a bit boring and a bit crap and a bit underwhelming, it doesn't really matter. It's just a, it's just a learning experience. So I just accepted that and made a little list of, uh, I think it came to around about 227 points. I got it as close as I could. Uh, made an army list. And uh, so we met up and we set the table up and I thought... I even thought at this stage, setting up a 4 by 4 table, um, I said to him, this might be a bit big for the game we're playing. We pro almost probably want to play it on the Kill Team board or like a 3 by 3 But I thought, no, well, we'll just go with it. We'll play it 4 by 4 We'll pick one of the sort of missions and adapt it slightly. 
Um, I said, well, there's no much point playing for objectives because we've got so few units on the table. There's probably not going to be much opportunity to sort of split your units and fight over objectives and stuff. Um, so I said, we'll just play for kill points and we'll play the... Um, We'll play the bonus objectives, things like uh, Slay the Warlord, First Strike, uh, Line Breaker, all that. And uh, yeah, so we set up the the table, had started playing the game. And uh, his list was, he had a five-man squad of Skitari Rangers, a five-man squad of Skitari Vanguard, both with some special weapons sprinkled in there, and he had his Tech Priest Dominus, that's what he's called. And that was his army, 11 models. Uh, my army was two units of 10 grots, a unit of 10 shooter boys with a knob with no war gear, just a bog standard knob with chopper and slugger because I couldn't afford the points for anything flashier than that. And a weird boy, and I did manage to squeeze in one killer can, and he's, he's going to come into the story later. One killer can armed with a big shooter, just basic cheap. And uh, so we had pretty much around about the 230 point mark, so I'm... Uh, anyway, so we started rolling the dice and started playing the game. And because my brother's played Kill Team before, he's played D&D before, various board games, role-playing games, etc. But he's never really dipped his toe into 40k. Um, but he caught on really quick, so he's the easiest student I've ever had for teaching a game. Like, literally, you tell him once, he gets it. it, it so it was like playing with someone that's been playing for a long time. Um, he was looking up rules just as much as me who's been playing it for ages because I always have to remind myself of rules. Um, that comes with knowing all the older editions and getting confused and remembering old rules that are no longer viable. But anyway, we started playing what I thought was going to be a really bland, boring game and nothing more than an education exercise. Um, but I can honestly tell you it's one of the most fun games I've had in a long time. It was really, really good fun. Um, it was a fairly close game. He, In terms of points, he whooped my ass. Um, <laughs> I think the game ended 7-1 to him. Um, but in terms of what was killed on the table, he had very few left at the end. I had nothing left at the end. But it went the full seven turns. And uh, there was tactical decisions being made. Um, there was I was just like any other game of 40k. I was weighing up the pros and cons. Uh, whether I wanted to use stratagems at a certain time, whether I wanted to save them. You know, I was being cautious with units. I was, you know, taking risks with units. Um, and it was just as much fun, if not more so than some games, um, than any other game I've had recently. It really was good fun. And uh, I was just really surprised by it. And actually, having played that, and we were talking through the game, like, you know, this is what you're good to buy next to expand your army. And I said, you, you know, you want to sort of get it to sort of around the 500 point mark for a starting army. That gives you a good starting base to have you know, a proper game of 40k. But actually, as I've been thinking about it over the last couple of days, do you know what? I would I would happily play a game like that again against anyone, actually. And uh, I think it, it, it reminded me of the old Combat Patrol days. It really did. And we didn't have restrictions. His Lord had the 2 plus save. Um, I had a killer can in there with five wounds. Um, and... Uh, yeah, it was, and it was, it was great. It, it was brilliant. It really was good fun. We basically both used a patrol detachment, so we gained no extra CP. So both of us just had um, the basic three CP for having a battle forged army. Um, so it made using stratagems and things like really, you know, you could, if you were using a stratagem that was three CP, that was it. It was gone, unless you're using a lord or something in there that comes with an ability to regain them or gain you an extra one or something. And I think if you're going to do this or try this out, and I'd highly recommend you do it. I really, really do. And I think you should put some levels of restrictions, um, as in basically to play this version of Combat Patrol 8th edition um, or Steve-O's version of Combat Patrol is that you basically set your armies to 250 points, maybe 300 points, and you agree that you, only, you can only have a patrol detachment. You can't have multiple detachments. You can't... Go for anything else, just literally a patrol detachment. Which makes sense, the clues in the title. Um, and other than that, maybe maybe no named characters or anything too powerful, but uh, I wouldn't even bother putting restrictions on certain things. Just try and have both players coming in it from the sort of perspective of, right, 
try and squeeze in as much as you can and go for the lower point stuff. And things like lighter vehicles like killer cans and stuff, um, can, you can squeeze them in you if you're really tight elsewhere. Um, but I tell you what, it was it was a great fun game. It really was. It gives some of those smaller units and weaker units a chance to shine. I said I wanted to talk about the killer can because, <laughs> my God, I had some great dice rolls this game. <coughs> My little killer can, now most people would know that killer cans in the current meta are a bit shit. Um, but damn, in these combat patrol games, they rock. Um, suddenly the killer can's a fairly tough, sturdy little bastard when he's come up against light infantry and light troops and things. Other than sort of, you know, uh, las cannon toting land raiders and stuff that will just rip him a new one. He um, strolled up the board behind a sort of a, a line of grots. And, you know, marched his way up the field towards some Skatari rangers who were ducking in cover. And he, each turn, would shoot with his big shooter. And I think almost every turn in the game he was hitting with nearly all of them. And several times, one time in particular, I rolled his three shots, got three sixes for the Daka Daka. Those three I rolled, got two more sixes and a five. I actually took a picture of this and put it on the Facebook group. Um... Because it was so, yeah, he ended up three shots, six hits, killing a couple of guys. He was just on fire all game. I have never had such huge success from a killer can before in my life. And it made me sort of fall in love with the unit again. And that particular model, he is forever now my lucky killer can. Just brilliant. I've never seen Daka like it. It was, it was beautiful. Um, and also on his side, his tech priest, Dominus, absolutely unleashed hell in the shooter boys the weird boy zapped him over there with the, the jump early on in the game killed a couple of his vanguard his they didn't then they failed their charge uh, after losing a few from overwatch and on his turn they made them pay the um the combination of the vanguard and the tech priest dominus shooting into him just obliterated them and then they finished off what was left of them in combat and then from the rest of the game it was pretty much a grot army um, desperately trying to survive and uh, hold out against this um, insane firepower of the Mechanicus. Um, but it was it was a fun, fun game. I really enjoyed it. It didn't take up a huge amount of time. We took a couple of hours, like I said, because I was teaching him the game. But if you were doing this with two experienced players, um, you, you could easily do it in in 45 minutes to an hour um, and have you could have a couple of games. And uh, yeah, so... Give it a go, guys. If you've got a small amount of time going um, or you've got someone who's just getting into the hobby and you're teaching them or you're starting out with a new faction or something, maybe, um, give give it a go. Sort of around 250 points, 300. And uh, I think most factions will be able to, f to fill out a patrol detachment um, if they choose wisely and choose from sort of lower level HQ characters. Um, and uh, you know basic infantry and sort of steer clear of the more fancy elite stuff i mean you could you could have a unit of terminators or something you could if you, if you are able to squeeze that in points wise um but i think if you do that you're kind of going against the sort of the fluff and the law of a sort of a scouting force and i think you're going to find it an uphill struggle and I don't think the game's going to be that fun because you're not going to be getting many casualties. Uh, you certainly won't suffer many. Or if you're unlucky and roll a few ones for your two plus armor saves and you lose a couple, it's, you, you're really then facing an uphill struggle. Um, so I think some of the more elite armies, um, maybe things like custodians, probably wouldn't be able to play it, I doubt. Um, but most armies have access to some sort of low. You know, Space Marines have scouts or basic tactical marines even even necrons have warriors who are fairly cheap on points these days um and things like that um chaos have got cultists and stuff you know and uh i think yeah give it a go guys give it a go give these tiny points games a go on a four by four board um use just a basic mission of maybe just killing each other or put a couple of objectives out there have your bonus objectives um you just got three cp each very small army each um, and you can just have some fun with it. You can get a few games in, you can get a few mates around, uh, spend an evening doing a little mini tournament or a little mini league or, or, or whatever. You could really have some fun with this. And uh, yeah, I, I, I absolutely love it. And I don't think it'll be the last one I play. Um, 
I've got some people who, again, I play with that don't like small points games. They like to go big or go home. Uh, I think it would be a hard sell for them. Um, I know Reroll Joe probably wouldn't want to play it. He loves his Terminators and his Deathwing too much. And uh, he, 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 you know, the thought of taking anything that doesn't have a two-bus save is just alien concept to him. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, no, they're, they're, they're good fun. They're good fun. So I highly recommend you give it a go, guys. Give the uh, Patrol Detachment 250-point game a go. See what lists you can come up with. Get some people to play them with you. And uh, let me know in the comments if you've done this or if you're going to do this. And when you do it, let me know if it's been fun and you like it. Um, and if you've put any sort of house rules or restrictions in place. And, uh, yeah, I'd be interested to see what you guys think. Um, and if you have played these here, like I say, let me know in the comments and uh, share your thoughts with me. Do you like playing these small points games? Do you miss Combat Patrol? Do you wish GW would bring out some official rule sets maybe in the next chapter approved? And bring back Combat Patrol for us. Because Kill Team's cool. I, I, I enjoy Kill Team. But Kill Team is an investment. It's an investment of money uh, for like the rule set and thing. Albeit a very low entry level. Um, but also it's an investment in time and knowledge. And learning another whole rule set. Which can be a barrier that gets in the way. And if you can just scale down a game of 40k. That you already play all the time anyway. And play what essentially feels like a very different game at this stage when you scale it down that far. Um, but it's really good fun. It really is, guys. Trust me, it's really good fun. Get them killer cans on the table and see what they can do in these games of uh, Combat Patrol. They're, yeah, killer cans have a place again. They really do. But anyway, guys, for now, this is 6 Plus Stevo, signing out.